Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I've got something really cool to show you. I am using iPhoto AI, and this tool has free tools that allows you to do all sorts of things, including removing backgrounds, adding in new backgrounds, changing colors, and even my favorite, face swapping. I'm gonna show you how to do all of these things, and these are especially useful if you're in e-commerce or if you're into Shopify, and you wanna do some things with your various items and products. You gotta check this out, let's go. All right, so the first free tool I want to use is here under iPhoto. Go up here to free tools and then just click on face swap. This is my favorite by quite a margin because I find myself doing this quite a bit because I ain't the handsomest fella. I'm just kidding. I'm really handsome. Thanks, mom. Uh, but here we go, guys. You'll see here I've just selected that free tool here under AI face swap or what are they called? Face swap. There we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click on the plus button here and drop an image in. So I'm just going to go ahead and select. I'm going to select this attractive lady right here. It's going to go ahead and upload this image and then after that i'm going to show you how to swap in these are pre i guess not pre-built but they're kind of like they're prepared faces so you might if you see a face in here that you think was great and maybe you want to put this redhead on her body or on her head go for it go nuts but most of you like me are going to want to add in your own flavor so i'm going to click on your face and then I'm going to go ahead and select a photo. So I've already got a bunch of photos uploaded already. So if I went to Finder, I don't know, let's go ahead and let's just click on Update Your Face. And then I'm going to go with this one here. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to upload it right here. And then watch what happens. It updates the face, so it adds it in here. And then you'll see it's already added in. Then I just click on it. And literally, it's going to do it for me. There is no Photoshop. There's no installing software. There's no nothing. It's just click and go so i'll wait for this to process come back when it's done show you what we got all right so it is done and it has done a fantastic job it is really really good you you'll see here that this is the new face and if we go back to the old face well i'll go back and click on it it's completely different and literally it did it with one click love this tool let me show you the next one all right so we just did a face off face swap now i'm going to go back to free tools up here and we got a couple of choices Next one I'm going to show you is nice and simple. It's clothing recoloring. So if you're out in a, if you do a photo shoot or you got a photo of somebody and they're wearing a green shirt and you want them to wear a blue shirt, this is all you need to do. It's literally one click as well. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the plus button here. And let's see if I've got a picture of somebody in a shirt. Okay, I got this girl here. She's wearing, it looks like a green shirt or something like that. So I'll just upload that. And then presto, let's see what we got. All right, she's got a green shirt on. Let's see. Okay, good enough. All right, so now all you got to do is select the clothing to recolor. So in this case, I just clicked on her photo here, and then it's going to go ahead and give me like brushing options. And then as I hover over it, you'll see here that it's done a nice selection of her. Well, it's done a really good selection, actually. So I'll just click on that. And then over here, you can add to it if you need to, but I'm just going to go ahead and confirm because this looks pretty good, especially if you're just trying to get in there and do it nice and quick. You can always, you know, feather things and do things in various other programs if needed, but this generally gets it done real quick, real easy. So here we go. We got a green shirt. And what do we want? Blue shirt? I don't even know. Let's go with a blue shirt. No, maybe not a blue shirt. Let's go with like a, a reddish shirt, something like that. Okay, cool. I would click out of that. And then literally, I just go ahead, click on download, and you'll see here you can get a free version and you can get the uh, paid version. Of course, there's always a paid version. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and click and download the free one with the iPhoto logo. And uh, yeah, if you need to get rid of the logo, well, you know what? Pay for it <laughs> or use a logo removal tool. I don't know. Whatever people do. So there you go. So we've gone ahead and adjusted the color of our shirt. That was nice and easy. Now I'm going to show you the final two. We'll two for one them. We'll, we'll pack them together. It's super fast, super easy to do. All right, and the final tools are basically background, background removers and background changers for photos. So, you know, really simply here, if you want to change a background, and this is really popular for those of you that create YouTube thumbnails, this is being done all the time. You know, you've got a picture of you, and then you want a different background. So this is really easy to do. I'm just going to click on Upload Image, and then I'm going to select an image with the background. So, I don't know, maybe this one here that's got that nice little greenish background, um, with the dark uh, vignette corners. All right, so here we go. We've got this attractive lady doing her thing. I just clicked on the image, and I'm just going to increase its size because why not, right? I want to make it a little bit bigger because something like that maybe. Okay, maybe that will work. Okay, good. I could easily... We changed her uh, uh, shirt color the other uh, little while ago. Now let's get rid of the background. Easy as pie. You get a couple of options. 
you can use one of their models and they've got some really nice stuff here. So for example, if you're into the art side of things and you want to put this nice little artist cloud thing, or maybe you want her in this uh, churchy type uh, hallway, whatever it is, you can select from any of their pre-built selections. And there's, again, there's a lot of really nice ones there. Maybe you want her in a building, I don't know. Or you can upload your own. So I'll just click on product and then look at this. Up at the top here, you're going to see upload background. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my own. So I'm going to click on upload background. And then what do I want? Do I want to, um, I probably want a gradient, for example. So here we go. We got a whole bunch of gradients for thumbnails. I've got all my YouTube gradients ready to go. So here we go. We've got this nice, cool dual gradient. Oh, it's almost the same as the one on here. So let's pick a different color. Let's go with this one here. All right. I'm going to click on it and watch this. It's going to pull out the current background in a second. Once this is done, I got to click on this and I'm going to increase the size of the background. So basically what's happened is, is it's pulled out what was there now. And then I'm just resizing the new gradient that I put in and it just sort of fits like a glove. So there we go. We got something like that. And then there's a little bit of stuff in the hair there that I might want to go ahead in and fix up a little bit, but 99% of the way there, just with one click, I download it. We are good to go. All right, guys, and the final tool, it's similar to the last one. It's super easy to do. It should just take a quick second. Go to free tools, go on background remover like I'm done here. And that's it. Now, just upload the image, any image that you have with the background. So let's go back to my movie selection here and let's see if I've got another one. Uh, this one's got like a gray background. No, let's go with this lady here. She's got this like weird little paneled background behind her like that. It is done. Now I can go ahead and just download this. And again, of course, you can edit if you want to, just like the other one. But I'm going to leave it as is because it's done a pretty good job, even with the wisps of hair. And if you put it on a dark background, it yeah, you generally don't need to go much further than that. And then click on it. Download it here for a high definition download. Or you can download it for free uh, with the logo and then do what you need to do. So there you go, guys. This is a free AI tool. iPhoto AI. Links in the description below. Let's go. Give it a crack. Let me know what you think of it. Thanks for watching.